Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to see about Microsoft Azure VM. So in this class we will see how to create a VM. Uh, before that we have to understand what is the VM size and what is the purpose of a VM size. Okay. So the VM size start with entry level. So when we choosing the low level entry level, you will get around one or two GB of RAM. Uh, so when you go into high level, you will get more RAM and uh, the cores will be increased 2 core 8 core 16 core and 64 core so when you choose in the high uh, higher end uh, sizes you will get high number of cores and uh, high number of uh, ram size so the series start like uh, a series b series d series dc series f series each and every series have a optimized for uh, the purpose like compute optimize and uh, memory optimized, storage optimized, so oh, you have to use based on upon your project requirement. So when you are choosing a general purpose, so if you are going to host an application like ideal for testing and development, uh, small to medium databases are going to host me, you have to choose a general purpose like B series, DA series, so you will get uh, like um, medium uh, size of VM. So when you are going to compute automation, so if you are going to host application like uh, medium traffic web servers like network appliances batch process so those vm you are going to choose f series so then you can see memory is optimized storage optimized so the storage optimized you can see uh, for example you are going to use for big data project and uh, the large uh, transactional databases heavy database transaction is going to be happen so you have to use storage optimized and same memory optimized it's for high number of uh, RDM is going to use memory and regular project you're going to host so then in your case you have to choose memory optimized so uh, when you choose a GPU that is for uh, specialized for uh, image rendering process like animation project and so if you record a uh, animation project you, you must need a graphic uh, enable the virtual machines so graphic card installed virtual machine so then you will choose the GPU so it's uh, useful for your uh, application useful for your uh, rendering image and video editing animation project so these are the purpose of a uh, VM sizes so based on VM sizes you have to choose your uh, VM series so let's uh, I took a sample instance Azure calculator. So when I'm choosing a D2 series, so you can see the 8 GB of RAM. So I, you can see it's listing down around 5 TB of RAM. So when you're that memory optimized, you're getting till 5 TB, and you can see uh, 24 uh, GB of RAM and 6 core of uh, CPUs and 2 and or 8 core of CPUs. So it start with a 1 core to till uh, 240. 416 cores of uh, virtual CPUs are available so you can choose uh, test development to till your project it's a uh, high number of uh, cores and uh, heavy graphic RAM you can utilize so what is the VM content once you create a VM you will get uh, two disks inside your VM so one is OS disk, another one is temporary disk. So the OS disk default come with 127 GB, and uh, you can later increase based on data growth. And temporary disk you should not worry about that. That is taken care by uh, Microsoft. You will be not be billable. So it is this disk uh, um, used for Microsoft purpose. Like when we are doing the migration or any VM going to down and uh, so troubleshooting that time the temporary disk may be unavailable so you should not keep any data inside this temporary disk the so data disk based on data growth so you can uh, increase like 4 gb to 32 tb you can increase your data you can resize your data disk same you can be uh, uh, increase your uh, voice disk as well there is a three types of uh, disks available uh, standard SSD then standard SVD then premium SSD so you have to uh, choose your disk 
based upon your project requirement if you're going for a solid state uh, premium you will get high bandwidth the same thing you will get high throughput so when you're choosing a standard hdd standard ssd you will get low oops and low throughput okay let's have a quick demo of uh, machine creation okay uh, i am on azure uh, portal i am selecting a virtual machine uh, you can go and create you can select in left hand side also tab click in the virtual machine click create select the virtual machine here you have to choose your subscription then resource group i am having already azure or easy learn subscription group so here you have to provide a vm name i put the vm demo so i choose uh, east is east region uh, then image i select a uh, windows server 2016 see here we discuss the which machine sizes for this uh, we discuss in the ppt then uh, you have to go and provide a username so password i am already having so just to copy here okay here it lost uh, inbound urban port so we will see it on this on uh, networking uh, tutorial so then we have to choose voice disk type like disk type as we discussed in the ppt so i am choosing a standard ssd for testing purpose then next networking we will see it on different class then next 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 so here management you have to provide the boot diagnostics voice guest logs so this we will take in, we will see it on different class so review and create so the review tab it will take uh, for some time to get uh, so here you can uh, review so whatever details you provide once again to cross verify then you have to go and click create so the which machine creation will take uh, maximum 2 uh, to 5 minutes so it will land in land to the uh, deployment uh, portal deployment page so here it will create a which machine what are the components required for which machine like networking a network security group public ips uh, etc so we can monitor here status of status of the progress okay it created a minute energy ip so it going to be create a compute so here you can see the type and resource so this which machine contain uh, energy ip and which network so this is our resource which machine okay this is network interface network interface card having a remote tool to connect the machine so i am already having the uh, details of the credential username password i put over here so once we am created i'll uh, i'll copy the i'll take the public ip address then i'll put it on my remote desktop tool so easy to connect so we will wait we'll wait for one more minute to get it create machine is ready so just i'm going to copy my public ip address okay i got my public ip address i'm connecting my machine which is created now so on portal you can uh, see the which machine details server details like uh, os which windows os and the size Uh, one core, three GB of three point five GB of RAM. Then you can see more details below here when you scroll down. 
uh, this is computer name VM demo then uh, operating system then publisher Microsoft Windows Server then offer 2000 offer is Windows Server and the plan is 2016 and public AP private AP then you can see the size of the VM and disk everything okay my machine is uh, created now okay uh, my machine is ready okay then I'm going to open my my computer select uh, this here you can see OS is contemporary disk as I said um, Temporary disk you should not use. There is a data loss warning message for the Microsoft Azure. So, in any data stored on this drive, subject to loss. So, you should not use the temporary disk. You cannot see this temporary disk on your Azure portal. When I am clicking the disk, we cannot see. Uh, okay, guys, we will see it on next class. Thank you for watching.